We want to find the k closest elements to some value in an array. So this array is already sorted, and we want to find some number of values that are closest to that element. Closest as in their absolute difference is minimized. Okay, so this is a bit of a, a tricky problem in that um, it should be apparent that we want to use binary search. However, um, binary search is only one component of it. So first, let's start by taking the length of the array, n equals line of array. And then we have a couple edge cases that we want to get over. And that is if x, so the value, if x is less than r0, if x is less than r0, we want to just return r up to k. Right? There's nothing left to process. It's less than the lowest value in the array. We just want the first k elements. Now, if x is greater, if x is greater than r minus 1, which is the last value in the array, then of course we want to return r, return r minus k uh, and forward. Right? So the last k elements of the array, right? since it's greater than the greatest element in the array. And then we want to have our binary search function, right? bin search r v, okay? And for those that are not familiar with binary search, the long and short of it is kind of how you look up a name in the phone book, you uh, turn to some value, and then if you um, are, are far to the right of it, you go quite a bit of ways to the left and vice versa until you've detected where your um, name is or value is that you're looking for. So we need a low and a high, a low, equals low equals zero and high equals len of r minus one len of r minus one okay and then what we'll say is while low while low is less than or equal to high mid equals low plus high over two floor division now if r of mid if r of mid equals v we've located our value we want to return mid comma mid. I'll get to that in a second, but first let's fill out the rest of our binary search function. Then we say if r, if r of mid is less than v, is less than v, then it's too far to, to the left, right? That middle value is too far to the left. Uh, middle as in the, the index between the low and the high. It's, it's too far to the left. And what we want to say then is low equals mid plus one, okay? In the other way around, when it's greater than v, we'll say else high, else high equals mid minus 1 to bring it down. In the event that this loop breaks and we don't return, uh, in other words, we don't have the value in the array, we'll just say return low comma high. Okay, the reason we want to do this is going to be apparent right here. Now, first let's return low high equals bin search equals bin search r x so we're looking through r to find x or the closest um, value to x now at this point we've returned uh, two indices in the in the array that are uh, close to uh, x but perhaps one of them couldn't be less close to x than the other is and the way we're going to make sure that we've determined which one is closest we'll say if abs so absolute value of x minus r of low if abs value x minus r of low is let's say oops excuse me is less than abs less than x minus r of high okay then we know that low is the right one to be determined as the mid. So this is the mid that we um, that we, we assign our, our low to because this helps us understand or, or, or center us on, on the value that we need to focus on. Okay, else mid equals mid equals high. Mid equals high. Okay, so we now we've determined where the closest value in the array is to our value x. Now let's assign two variables i and j to mid and what we're going to do ultimately is keep moving i and j to the left and right respectively as long as they are lesser than the other uh, in terms of the absolute difference between x and the value that they represent in the array. Now since we've already found a value we want to decrement k by 1 and we'll say while k while k is not equal to 0 while k is not equal to 0, if i equals 0, then i can't go any more to the left. So we have to say j plus equals 1, k minus equals 1. Elif, elif, j equals n minus 1, so it's the, all the way to the right and it can't go any more to the right, then we do the other way around. 
for i and say i minus equals 1, k minus equals 1. Okay, now there's another circumstance where we say elif abs of x minus r i minus 1. Okay, so the, if we were to move i to the left by 1, if that is less than or equal to abs of x minus r j, j plus 1, if we were to move j to the right, right, which of these is smaller? If the, the value of i the, uh, represented by i minus 1 is less than the value represented by j, minus, j plus 1, which is actually the absolute value, then what we want to do what we want to do is say i minus equals 1 because i is the lesser absolute difference. k minus equals 1, of course, because we want to decrement k. Else, in the other version, where abs of x minus r of j plus 1 is lesser than the absolute difference of x and the value represented by i minus 1 in the array, then we simply just increment j by 1 and decrement k by 1. Finally, once this while loop breaks, we say return ri up to j plus 1. Remember, j plus 1 because we need to uh, grab the value uh, with the, the slicing in Python. We run. It's accepted. Submit. Outstanding.